Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nally. I want to talk a little bit about how to name these compounds that are called hydrates. So hydrate is a special type of compound. It's really just an ionic compound. So you're familiar with ionic compounds already, right? They're form of metal plus a non-metal, where the metal forms a cation, non-metal forms an anion. So a hydrate is an ionic compound, but then it has a number of water molecules uh, that are surrounding it. So the reason it's called hydrate is because it's hydrated. Hyd hydrate just being the name for water. So the way we write the formula of these hydrate compounds is you write the ionic compound formula, which in this case is symbolizes as Mx, where M is the metal and X is the nonmetal. And then N here represents the number of water that is attached to the hydrate. And then afterwards you follow the formula H2O, which is this water. So for example, Here's a formula of a hydrate, MgSO4, that's the ionic compound. And then you put a dot, that's an important part here, showing that there's a certain number of water that's bonded to the MgSO4, in this case, 7H2O. So the way you name them is simple. You just name the ionic compound. And then for the actual water, you're going to have to name them based on a prefix that represents the number of water that's bonded to it. So if you remember that in the covalent compound naming, we had learned that there are different prefixes. Go back to that table that shows you all these prefixes for covalent compounds. You're going to use that again in your hydrate naming. So for example, just going back to our MgSO4, in this case, we would call it magnesium sulfate because that's the name of the ionic compound. And then you look at seven here and that would be hepta. And then the ending is always hydrate because that's what water is. So it's just magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. The next one here is CuCl2,2H2O. There's two different ways you can call this, right? First, because this is a transition metal, you're gonna to need to start with your anion. Chloride, remember, always has a charge of negative one. Since there's two chloride in this particular case, then your copper has to be plus two to balance that out. So the name would be copper Roman numeral two chloride. And the prefix for two is di, so dihydrate, okay? Now remember that because this is a transition metal, you can also use that ic us naming convention for a transition metal. So that would be called, in this case, copper two is cupric chloride dihydrate, okay? Here's an example, copper two sulfate pentahydrate. So what's the formula? So copper two is Cu2 plus, you're combining this with sulfate, which is a polyatomic ion. So you got to remember that sulfate has a charge of negative two. So then the two of them combine is a one-to-one -one ratio. So copper sulfate. Penta means five, and this is a hydrate. So there should be a dot in the formula, five H2O, okay?